kid, I, I actually have this distinct memory of reading on the back of a like an activity book about cystic fibrosis research. And so then I, I looked into it and I thought it was really cool that you can do so many things to help people. Actually, my original career path was to become a paramedic. So I did, I did all the schooling for that, um, wrote and passed my licensing exam. And then I decided to take a career path change and switch into nursing. University applications were due and I had kind of had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Um, I thought about teaching and then while I was researching what I wanted to do, I found nursing. Uh, well, I think the person who inspired me um, most in my life is, is my grandfather. Um, he was a paramedic in Huntsville for 28 years. So I got into nursing and I will tell you it wasn't like love at first sight, but after about a year of my first job, my first position, I was in a step down ICU. The people I worked with were like so dedicated and so passionate and they made me really fall in love with what we did every day. I started nursing. Um, three of my cousins have gone into nursing as well. Um, I like to pretend it's because of me, but realistically, um, I think they probably would have anyways. I liked the idea of following someone's care plan through instead of briefly treating someone and then dropping them off at the hospital. Um, and I definitely haven't, haven't looked back since. Definitely my coworkers. You form such a unique bond with people you work with. We've been through difficult situations together um, and it truly really strengthens the connections that you have. Uh, taking care of people in our community, is, it fills my cup and um, I have really great coworkers and an awesome manager, Kristen, who is, uh, she's really supportive. I love the critical thinking. Um, I love how you can take in all of that information and work with the patient and the multidisciplinary team to solve those problems. Um, I love that constant drive to work with the team to solve them. I love the constant learning that goes along with nursing. For me, I stay in this industry um, because of the pride that I take home every day in my work. I also love the advancements of medicine and science and how miraculous it can be. I find it so interesting and I can't wait to practice the latest and greatest techniques. There's always something new to learn. Um, the guidelines change, the recommendations change, the evidence change. So um, once you think you know everything, everything changes and yeah, you start all over again. So it's a bit nerve wracking because you see new things every day and there's all kinds of situations and stuff like that. But I definitely, you know, I have a really good um, team. It's a really tough job. It really, really is. But when you're able to support somebody in achieving their health goals, when you're able to help families navigate some really tough times, the type of pride that you take home from that at the end of the day, I just, I don't know that you would find that doing anything else. COVID is definitely the toughest time um, I've experienced as a nurse. Um, I've been nursing for about 15 years or so. Well, COVID has certainly been extremely challenging to navigate from the ever-changing rules and heightened restrictions and the fear or anticipation of what you might have to deal with while you're at work. The staying current in the with the changes is really hard. Um, I'm the clinical lead here at the hospital and uh, supporting the staff and helping them navigate all the changes as well is, is really taxing. Um, you know, not, uh, allocating those resources and the support to keep everyone safe and feeling supported, um, it, it's stressful. The things I really struggle with in nursing, um, supporting children, right? We all love children and they're so sweet and when they come in and they have health problems, it's it's always a little bit extra stressful, but I've actually found it even more difficult helping them navigate through their family members being sick and helping them navigate death. It's always really, really challenging because you just feel it deep down in your heart and you just want to hug them and give them everything. COVID aside, I find it really tough to deal with family members who have just lost a loved one. When death is sudden, families don't always get the opportunity to prepare for it. So showing empathy um, at a time like that and saying the right words on someone's worst day is a learned skill, uh, but it, it's never easy. As a nurse, some losses hit you uh, more than others, and sometimes you take that home with you. and 
we see a lot of sad things. Um, so they'll tend to help. They, they, they tend to make it hard and tough. And yes, COVID is a big part of it. And in my current role with COVID, it's the struggles that I see my team going through um, as manager is just making sure that they have all the resources and stuff that they need available to them to do their job. Um, it makes it hard sometimes to work through this process, but the rules changing every day. COVID's definitely, um it's been horrible and so tough and so much information overload but i really feel in our communities um, we've been really blessed in that our communities have taken care of one another just obviously seeing people walk out of there and recover and, and get better when you've been working hard with the team to get through a problem and and you finally get it. Some of the best experiences um, are when we're actually able to help people and see improvements right in front of your eyes. And a few months ago, I was actually orientating a new nurse at our hospital here. And we were just talking about our, our histories and she was somebody who had a brain injury and she had been one of our patients. And she was somebody that I would have spent a lot of time, a lot, a lot of, very exact science and turning and just kind of sent her off to a rehab to to fully get better and she is just one of the most phenomenal people I know now she is excelling she is a wonderful nurse and knowing that I was part of that is so fulfilling the guy that I was taking care of uh, he was a palliative patient and um, I remember taking them on and um, they were you know, barely responsive and having long periods of apnea. And um, and then halfway through my second shift with them, um, they just woke up kind of thing out of it. And um, and they eventually like just kept improving, kept improving. And then um, eventually just with a little bit of rehab and that they were able to be discharged out into the community and they're doing better than ever. Whether you've been uh, working on a patient that's coded or a patient meets their discharge goals, um, whether you deliver a baby or you see a patient that you, you thought would never walk again, walk down the hall, you know, with a big smile on their face because, you know, I, I showed you I did it. Um, and you just really celebrate those moments and those victories with your team and your patients and it just, it, you know, it just makes your whole day. Nurses in Muskoka are just such an incredible, strong, compassionate, and driven group of people. We work by a triage system, um, and based on the patient's status, we put them in order of emergency. People often find it hard when they have to wait, um, and other patients are being seen ahead of them. So please be patient with us, and just know that we're doing the best that we can under the circumstances. Nursing Muskoka is so rewarding because there's the challenge of having to be a bit of a jack of all trades. You need to be able to take care of a wide variety of patients and do it in a really good way. Well, I definitely, I mean, I've worked in long-term care and home care and now I work in acute care as well um, in, at, in the hospital, sorry. Um, and I just think that we have such a strong, dedicated team of nurses in our community and um, they're all really hard working and I think that I've, I just feel really proud and lucky to be a part of that. Last few years is how much growth I've seen in our nursing here. I've seen so many you know, no, new grads grow into great nurses. Our facility is actively supporting RPNs to become RNs. I love being a nurse in Muskoka. Um, I like our small rural hospital. Um, I think we give that personal touch and uh, it's exceptional when we can watch somebody from coming in at their most vulnerable to being discharged home safely um, and being with them along the entire journey while they're here with us.